Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. Today I've got a layout update for you, number 28. It's been quite a while. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a new father, so I don't have a ton of time, but over the last couple weeks I have been picking away on stuff, and I do want to show it off. So I thought I'd make just a quick update video. Nothing up here has changed. This is all the same. Starting here, uh, I finally started the tunnel, um, the weaving of the cardboard. It is removable. You can kind of see one of the supports in there. And I glued those foam pieces in to kind of place it so that it's always in the same spot. And it just kind of fits in between everything snugly. Uh, I do plan to make more of the mountain up here. But that doesn't need to be removable, so that's going to be kind of a second stage. And that'll connect to the bridge and have kind of the, the road with the ramp down. And uh, I think that'll look good. I still need to, I still want to kind of plan the road and flatten that area out. But uh, I think it's coming together really well. Uh, moving forward here, uh, with this signal... I, I wired it up with the infrared sensors so it goes green to red, depending on the, the direction the train's traveling. So it goes red when it's going into the tunnel and becomes green coming out. And I had a switch set up so that it actually changed red to yellow, but that didn't really make sense. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I don't, I don't know a lot about real-life operations. So I changed it to... Yellow and green can be switched between its its each other, and then uh, red is just a standalone. And that makes a lot more sense, because when the train comes out, I can have it flipped so that when it does switch from red, it goes to yellow. And then I can control when it turns to green. So that makes a lot more sense. Mainline had sent me this for Christmas, and a stock car, which I'll show soon. And I got it all built and, and kind of weathered. I do want to go over it a little bit more and add some detail. More so to the top and to the cab. Um, there we go. It turned out pretty good. The string was the hardest part for me. <laughs> but that looks good. I've got it on its own little track. I'm just trialing it here. Uh, this is perfect and exactly what I envisioned for this industry. That little crane just wasn't big enough. Uh, but I just don't have anything placed permanently. I want to just test uh, using the industry. That is a 50-foot flat car and it fits and you can still uh, have a decent amount of clearance. Uh, so I just want to continue testing it uh, with the placement too because this rotates. So um, we'll see. I also finally glued in this harbor wall and I painted the bottom black in order for water because uh, this is meant to be an island and this is uh, the water side industry. So um, just kind of getting ready for that. I'll pro I probably won't, you know, pour the water for quite a while, but it's all dusty because <laughs> it's I've been working on stuff. Uh, gluing up more of the wall, but kind of leaving it a little bit sporadic. Uh, a lot of people su su suggested that, um, you know, with time and stuff, things tend to sag. So uh, I've been kind of keeping it a little cattywampus. <laughs> not not perfect. I've only made it to there. I don't glue it every time I work on it, and I kind of forget. Uh, the biggest change is I finally started working more on this area. So I decided I'd paint the cork because I thought the cork uh, painted kind of looked like in a nice ass like asphalt but uh i didn't really love the look of it so i decided to put some of that drywall plaster stuff on and gave it a light sanding just to kind of smooth everything out i need to go over it again and uh as you may have seen on go Veer go homes channel chris uh, he did the same thing these are out of match sticks that i just cut to length and then super glued together i still need to give it a dark wash but i'm really happy i just uh i glued it on and i've sanded it things are working pretty well everything seems to 
not have a problem with it just yet, but uh, I want to get a good amount of testing in because, you know, like if, it, if even one thing has a problem, I'm not going to like it. So <laughs> I've got uh, just a road in here, just a, made out of cardboard, uh, just glued down, and uh, I ripped up that that um, uh, cloth, <laughs> the, uh, oh, it's right there, plaster cloth, holy cow. Uh, sorry, my brain is pretty fried. Um, so I'll, I'll lay some more in and kind of match that up with this. And uh, then just kind of paint everything. But I'm pretty happy with how it's come together. It's, uh, you know, I want to get rid of the, the lines. So, like, I might have to add more here and then just sand it. But that's okay. It's come along really well. And I'm really happy about that. The only other thing that I have changed is I weathered my first box car. So I don't know if this is the final product. I'm not really sure if I'm happy with it, but I think it turned out decent. Um, I've never weathered anything before, so I think it's pretty good. We've got, you know, some rust on the trucks and on the coupler and some grime and oil kind of rust coming out down from the roof i think it looks pretty good it's much darker in person the camera really lights it up it's kind of much more darker in person uh, but that's okay uh i like it so i think i'm going to continue starting to weather a bunch of stuff up um and go from there the stock car whoop, that uh thailand gave me is there i've actually got long shank couplers on it because that's all i had for katie's i've got some more on order but uh that's pretty cool i uh, i can't wait to to have that roaming around my layout and uh gotta kind of weather that up too but uh that's super nice generous guy i actually just bought some more stuff off of him uh so i'll be replacing some of my rolling stock like the illinois central and uh, just some of the stuff like the Erie Lackawanna that just doesn't really fit. So we'll see. We'll see what stays, what goes. I only have so much room, obviously, and I'm I'm full up now. Uh, I might have room for one more boxcar beside the British Columbia 140 foot uh, car. I mean, but that's it. I'm gonna wrap this up. So a couple weeks got me here. I'm gonna keep plugging away. Uh, like I mentioned, videos are obviously still coming, just slower than regular. But uh, thanks everybody for watching, and until next time, enjoy your bacon.